Okay, well here's the quick tour of the joint. This is uh, starting off in the kitchen, obviously enough. Uh, cooktop and uh, dishwashing machine. Uh, coffee area over there. Um, ooh, and my beer. Um, coffee machine. Oven. Um, anyway, so the house used to be basically, that's facing north, and that's the, the what was the lounge room. Those windows over there were um, the windows on the western wall to let light into the place. And uh, that's the, the back door, which used to lead outside, but now there's like a, like a, a lean-to section built here. And behind that wall with a uh, cupboard there is a small room behind there through that door. So we've got this area down here and the uh, section out the back, laundry and backyard. Uh, backyard's not a bad size. So there you go. That's there and that's the, one of the neighbours' places. So let's just go back through the house. So, you know, this is kind of... Uh, this is kind of like, you know, desk space and computer room and out the back on the other side of that wall was where Eva was living. So uh, when she, she was visiting from Finland, this doorway here is the unfinished bathroom. So uh, again, looking north, there's the uh, living room. This was uh, a front veranda and it's now turned into um, like a, an enclosed space. Um, that was a set of French doors leading into the veranda. Um, that leads upstairs. So here's the garage. Um, uh, it's, a bit, uh, it's a bit dark in here to see, really. But Pajero over there, motorbike over there, Honda underneath a whole bunch of rubbish over here, um, space for a dark room in over there. <clears throat> Let's go upstairs. <clears throat> These are the stairs that... Uh, Anita and I spent a lot of time on. Actually, the polished floors downstairs in the room down there are pretty good as well. <clears throat> anyway, so this is the part that I'd probably seal off. So we've got um, two bedrooms over there, bathroom in there. And so this area here where the staircase is, I could build in the floor across from there, across to here, and then turn this into a kitchenette. Um, so then they'd have um, bedroom number one and bedroom number two and a balcony. So probably from here, um, I'd put a set of stairs. It would go down to the front and there's the front door and the built-in section that we were just in before. And the balcony's an okay sort of size. Um, and I'd probably put in a set of stairs further down the back there um, where the brick ends to, um, to sort of like uh, give them a back, do back door as well. And of course, in the place there where they can park their car off the street, I'd probably even consider getting rid of that garden and having them so they drive in like that to park their cars there so that I can get myself in and out of the garage doors.